Hi there, I'm Igfa, and today I want to look at chicken farms. So if your chicken farm looks a bit like this, or it stopped working at some point in 1.16 because uh, a bunch of designs did break, then it's time for an upgrade. And today I'm going to show you three different chicken farms. Uh, the first is fairly standard, and I'm sure many people have come up with the same design. The second is going to be the smallest chicken farm in Minecraft. It's 2 by 5 by one Yep, that's right. It's only 10 blocks in total and it makes raw chicken and i want to talk about why that might be a good idea early game as well and the last one is just three by four by one that's uh, 12 blocks and that makes cooked chicken and both these last two are i believe new designs by well by b and with each of them we'll also look at the options to convert them into egg farms as well okay so let's dive straight in So it's our first chicken farm and this is kind of like the more normal design I guess that will suit most people in their survival worlds and we're going to start off by placing a storage chest down here. We're going to put a hopper crouch clicked into the back of that like so. Slab crouch click on top then a solid block behind that hopper with a dispenser on top of it facing into the slab just here. Crouch click a hopper into the back of the dispenser. And then I want two observers, one pointing or facing towards the back of the farm here, and another one, you're going to have to dig down a couple of blocks, on the front of that one, but facing upwards, it's got its face at the top. Put a comparator, which is going to read this hopper, facing out that way. And what will happen is, as eggs come into this hopper, it'll power the comparator, that will power these observers, which will power the dispenser to fire the egg uh, to make a baby chick, hopefully, up on top of the slab. And then, actually, when the comparator goes off, it does the same again. So even if you get more than one egg arriving at the same time, you should never get any build-up in your dispenser of eggs, unless you've got a really stupid number of chickens laying eggs at once. Okay? So our baby chicks are going to end up here, and we need to block this off so they can't escape. I'm going to put glass around three sides of the slab and I'm going to make that too high and I want a solid block on top of the dispenser like so and we're also going to have our egg laying chickens on top of this hopper so place a glass block here it's just temporarily and around three sides of that we're going to place glass I can break this now and I want another glass on top of a solid block and one on each side like so so not in the front for the time being. And the last thing I'm going to do is place a trap door with its hinge against that solid block. So that will open down into this hopper. Okay, so that's the farm basically done. But you've now got a decision to make. And that decision is, do you want to get cooked chicken or raw chicken? And if you want raw chicken, just pop a solid block here. And the baby chicks will sit on top of this slab when they grow up. The adults will suffocate inside a solid block and you'll get raw chicken. If on your hand you want cooked chicken, just replace this block with lava. And when they grow up, they'll get cooked in the lava and you'll get cooked chicken in the chest. And obviously cover this up as well so you don't fall in. Now, if you had a design that looked like this and it stopped working, it's probably because it had a hopper in the same place as this solid block is. And what happened, what starts happening sometime in 1.16, I'm not sure exactly when, um, was that when a baby chick grew up and became an adult, all the other chicks would get lifted up and they'd all burn in the lava and you ended up getting three cooked chicken an hour, which obviously is terrible, right? But with a solid block here, that doesn't happen. And this farm is gonna be very, very reliable and give you really good chicken output, okay? So next I'm going to show you how to load the chickens in and we'll talk very briefly about some of the advantages and disadvantages of this farm compared to the other two I'm going to show you. Okay, I've switched into survival for this and I've got some uh, wheat seeds which will attract the chickens. But first of all, I want to place a glass block just in front of that comparator and one down here as well to create a little stairway up to the top there. Then take your seeds, and we're going to attract a couple of chickens. Hopefully they'll come out. 
Two will do. Thank you very much. And we're going to get them to follow us up these stairs. Hopefully. Come on. There we go. And I'm going to jump up here. And because there's a trapdoor there, they're going to fall down into there. So I can close the trapdoor. And actually, if you want to bring in more chickens, then you can do. If you want to breed these chickens, then you can do that as well. And then close the trapdoor so that the babies and the adults can't escape as you move down. So that's super, super simple way of getting your chickens into this farm. And once you're done and you've got enough chickens in there, you can get rid of these, of course. So this seems like a perfectly good chicken farm. And it begs the question, why am I going to show you two other ones if this one exists? And the reason for that is, um, there's actually three reasons, I guess. The first is that the other two are smaller, and that's kind of cool. They're also, I think, the smallest, which is even cooler. So if uh, you want to you know, have a bit of a show-off farm, then that's the way to go. The second reason is that this farm can't really be converted into an egg farm because eggs are going to end up in this hopper here or they're going to end up in this dispenser here. And both of those have blocks underneath, so I can't put another hopper there to try and pull out eggs. And so this cannot be converted into an egg farm with, you know, being able to switch between the two. So that's a, a bit of a disadvantage. And then the final thing is that this farm uses, obviously it uses Comparator and it uses Observers. They both require nether quartz and therefore you must have been to the nether, right? And for most people that's not a problem, of course, but there are some servers which restrict nether access and there's some people who maybe just don't want to go to the nether or don't want to go yet anyway, uh, but do want a good source of food in their early game. So the other two farms I'll show you can be made without any quartz as well. Okay, let's go on and build the smallest chicken farm that you can make in Minecraft. So first of all, I'm going to place storage down here and put a hopper into the back of there. I want a composter on top of that. And this is where our baby chicks are going to be. And in order for them to grow up and be in the block above, I need to fill this composter to level three or four. I'm going to use pumpkin pie because that guarantees it goes up a level. But you can use whatever you want. Just make sure you get to at least level three in here. Okay, next, put a couple of tempe blocks, break this one, and we're going to put a composter Sorry, a composter, a dispenser facing downwards, shooting into the composter. Okay, so the eggs will get pushed into there, the baby chicks will um, spawn in here, grow up and get suffocated inside this dispenser. I need a hopper going to there, and on top of there I'm going to put a pauldron. So this is where our adult egg laying chicken is going to be. When they lay the eggs, I'll pop down into this hopper and across this dispenser. And then we need uh, something to fire the dispenser. And the way we're going to do that, there's two ways of doing it, actually. So the first way I'm going to show you is using observers. And we would make just observer clock like this. And that will constantly fire this dispenser. And you can hear it clicking away. But um, I talked about the fact that, you know, you might not have quartz yet. So if you've only been to the overworld and uh, you've got a skulk sensor, then there is another way of doing this. You put a skulk sensor on here and put a trap door on top of it. And then you just need to open that trap door and that will create a clock, which every two seconds will power the dispenser. Okay. I also need to put slabs on top of here so that my chickens can't get out. And um, it's more complicated, obviously, with this design to get the chickens in. They tend to sit on the side of the, of the cauldron. So I'm just going to use a spawn egg for the time being. And I can get a bunch of chickens into here as many as I want. And that's it done, except the baby can get out because he can fit through underneath the slab but the adults will be stuck in here, okay? So that's our design. Now, um, like I said, this has got the advantage that we can um, avoid using never quartz, so more babies escaping. 
We could avoid using Never Quartz, but you do have to have been and got a Skulk Center. And the other thing is that if you re-log or reload this, it's possible this trapdoor will stop. Uh, but every time you walk near, you'll activate the sensor. So it stops kind of like this. But if you walk near, you'll activate the sensor. Or if you've got other farms around, they'll activate the sensor. If you've got mobs around, they'll also activate the sensor. So typically in most worlds, that's not going to be a problem. But uh, if you want to avoid that, use the observer clock instead. Okay. What about eggs? Okay, so this, this will only make, by the way, it's only make uh, raw chicken. You can't cook it. But we can turn this quite easily into an egg farm. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to put a hopper just here. We're going to put a solid block on that hopper on the side there. And then put a lever on there. And with this lever down, that locks the hopper. And it works normally as a raw chicken farm. With a lever up, the hopper is active. And any eggs that get laid will get pulled straight down into the chest. And you will get eggs down here. So that is a raw chicken or egg farm switchable. And it's pretty cool, right? Okay, so those of you might be wondering, well, actually, why would I want a raw chicken farm? Uh, cooked chicken is, is better. And you have a point. But actually, in early game, raw chicken is actually quite a good source of XP if you put it into a furnace, you get 0.35 experience from the furnace per chicken that you cook. So early game, that might be, you know, a little boost to your XP, which could be quite useful. So have a think about that if you want raw chicken or cooked chicken. And if you want cooked chicken, that's fine. We'll go to the next farm and I'll show you how to make a really tiny cooked chicken farm. And the last one, I use pumpkin pie. I don't need pumpkin pie for this one, but I do need a pumpkin because uh, I want to know which direction I'm facing. And the problem with this farm is it is directional. Mm. So it's not great, but it's all pretty cool. So uh, the pumpkin stem points northwest. So that's north, that's west over there. And the storage on this farm has to be either on the south or the east side, or else it doesn't work. So either this side or over there. So we're going to start on this side. And I'm going to place down a chest just here. And I want to hopper. Pointing into that chest, I want a cauldron on top of that. And this is where my baby chick's going to be. And when they grow up, they're going to get burned by this campfire. And I want to thank Alan from Discord because he pointed out to me that uh, chicks in a cauldron, when they grow up, are tall enough to get burnt in a campfire. So I didn't know that. I was playing around with composters uh, and trying to make it with composters. It, it wouldn't because when you push chicks in from the bottom, or which we're going to do in a moment, they just sit inside the compost layer. They don't sit on top of it, and therefore it doesn't work. With a cauldron, it does. So that's great. Thank you, Alan. Right, next, I need a dispenser. We're going to put our dispenser just here. I want a, another hopper in the back of that dispenser, like so. And I want another cauldron on top of there. Again, we need something to power the dispenser, and we could use a hopper, uh, sorry, an observer clock like before. Just like so. Now, power the dispenser. I need something to keep my adult chicks in who are going to be here. But this needs a little bit of explanation because it doesn't seem to make sense, right? Why am I dispensing eggs into this hopper? And the reason I'm doing that is because when I dispense an egg into that hopper, Let's go to the campfire for the time being and grab some eggs. And we're going to pop those eggs in there. And what happens when I dispense eggs into the hopper is eventually it'll make a chicken, hopefully. We were unlucky. Let's try again. Oh, yeah. And you just saw a chicken, yeah, its feet, and it gets pushed up into the cauldron above, which is... Fabulous. And that's why it's directional, because if you face it the other way, then actually the chicks get stuck down here. They don't phase up into the cauldron. Um, so yeah, this farm is definitely dodgy. It could break any time. It's not an intended mechanic, right? So, um, you know, build it at your own risk, but uh, enjoy it whilst it works. 
So we need some adult chickens in our cauldron here. So pop some of those in. And they will lay the eggs into here. Get dispensed there. Go up into the cauldron. When they grow up, they burn. And the items get picked up and sent down into the chest down here. And it's kind of like, it's almost smaller than the last one in the sense that it's, you know, three by three. As long as you've prepared to store everything in a hopper, which I don't really advise. Um, so, you know, the extra chest makes it a bit bigger. So what about if you wanted to turn this into an egg farm? Well, actually, you can do that as well, reasonably easily. So what we would need to do is take a barrel this time. Pop a barrel here. Pop a hopper into the side of that. That's sitting underneath this hopper, so it'll collect eggs. They'll come down into here and collect eggs there. And we can make it switchable just by putting a lever on that barrel. And when this hopper is locked with the lever on, we get a cooked chicken farm. And when it's up, we get an egg farm with our eggs coming into here. And of course, you do the same trick using the skulk sensor and a trapdoor to keep this running instead of your observer clock. So that's up to you. Uh, just bear in mind what I said before, that uh, when you reload or relog, this clock will stop and it needs to be reactivated by some kind of noise, okay? Which you know, you'll typically get by walking around or other things moving in the area. Right, so that's three chicken farms. And this is the, you know, sort of more standard one and is very reliable and, you know, has no issues at all. This one obviously is limited to raw chicken and this one is will do cooked chicken but it is directional as well so just watch out for that make sure you build it the right way around if you're going to put this into your world. So it doesn't feel like this would be an expert video without at least a little bit of mechanics so let's talk about um, how quickly chickens lay eggs. They will lay an egg after five between five and ten minutes that's an average of seven and a half and seven and a half minutes means you get eight per hour on average okay so if you've got an egg farm and you've got ten chickens they should each produce eight eggs per hour so you get 80 eggs from that farm if you're turning them into baby chicks then there is a one in eight chance of a thrown egg getting turned into a baby chick and that means that your eight eggs per hour become one baby chick per hour on average. It's a little bit of a bonus because sometimes you get triplets from an egg. So, you know, just see that as an extra, but it doesn't happen very often. So essentially, in terms of chicken output, then you will get one per hour per laying chicken that you've got in your farm. So pretty simple. There's also a little bit of warm up time for the farm after you first build it because your chickens that you bring in, if they've just spawned, would take uh, up to 10 minutes to lay their first egg. And it takes 20 minutes for a baby chick to grow up into an adult. So you're talking about 20 to 30 minutes, generally, you know, near over 20 before you actually start getting any output after you've built the farm. But don't worry about it. It will come. Yeah. So I hope you liked those. I thought they were quite interesting designs and hopefully you'll enjoy them in your world. So you take care and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.